Hey, what's up guys? Today's going to be a quick video on how to use uh, Storybook with Angular and also set up routing in a story. So this was a little challenging at first. It's a little tricky. Um, so if you have like routing set up in an app already, you could make use of that. So right now I don't have any routes set here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these two example pages I have. So I'll just say path. I'm going to go to nothing. Let's redirect to slash home and we'll add a path match full and then let's add another one so when you go to home we'll use the component home component and then when we go to login we'll use the login component so make sure you have all your angular routing set up before you try doing it in Storybook. So we have this all set up here. <clears throat> so now in the actual story for the main app, we can import the app module, and then we can also add an additional router module. Let's make sure I have my imports. And then let's add our routes. So for the routes in Storybook, we could just lazy load the app module so actually we won't be able to get rid of that so let's say when you go to nothing let's do load children we could use the new angular import so where's this so this is just here app module so specify wherever the module is you want to lazy load and then we say n and we'll return the app module So you have a syntax error somewhere. I gotta get rid of that. There you go. Okay, so this template looks a little messed up, so let's fix this. So in your story template, you could add a router outlet now. So we're gonna load this module when we go to an empty route. And then one other quick thing we have to do is, since Storybook, the actual components are viewed in an iframe, um, add an iframe.html. If we use actual routes, it's going to break that. So we could set, just for the story, use hash to true. And then one other thing you have to do is you have to set the base href in the stories. So we'll create a provider, and we'll override the default. And we'll say use value. And for now, we'll just do a slash. So this is should be pretty much all we have to do. And this is going to bootstrap this, which is the default Angular stuff. So let's change this to use router links. So this is our app component. Where we could have our routing. So when you go to slash home. We we'll click on home, we'll go to slash home, we we'll click on login, we'll go to slash login, and then let's add our router outlet to the home. So this should all be set up already in your app if you have routing and everything working. So now that we have this, let's see what error we're getting. So no base href set. So I think it's because I added it after the storybook was already running, so we might have to just restart a storybook. Actually, I'll add a default. So sometimes if you switch to another story, it will reload without you having to restart storybook because it takes a little while. So I'll just do F2. So if you go to F2, see that, and go here. No base href set. So let's just restart Storybook. Sometimes it gets a little finicky. And we'll remove this test. So basically, to review, you have your app routing set up initially, and then 
in Storybook you can create another router here that just lazy loads that other module of the routing and then just put a router outlet here. So this will show your entire application um, right in the story. And also make sure you use hash um, because the storybook uses uh, iframes. So you want to make sure you're not changing the iframe URL and you just want to add that hash to the end of it. And then uh, overwrite the app base href with um, just a forward slash. So once this builds, we could test it out, make sure everything's working. So I'll close the other storybook. Open our console, see if anything broke. And there we go, there's our homepage. And let's make sure we're showing our, so on our homepage, let's add a link to go to. Login. And then on our login page, let's add one to go back to the homepage just to show that the writing's working. Okay, so once that re refreshes, which I think it did, you can see we could change pages now. So this is using using the routing. And if you look at this URL down here as I hover over login, you can see it's showing the iframe.html and then there's a query string and then it just says hashtag slash login. So if we didn't have the hash, it would actually change and reroute you to a whole another URL here, which would create the story. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or uh, send me a message. Thank you.